The late Princess of Wales, whose marriage to Prince Charles, ended in divorce, was the most photographed woman in the world. Diana's diverse wardrobe helped her carve out a reputation as a style icon, with her impact on the world of fashion felt for years after her untimely death in a car crash in 1997. A new Channel 4 documentary tells the story of the people's princess through her era-defining array of outfits. Diana, Queen of Style, features contributions from some of the designers behind the princess's most famous look, said Cyrus, the co-founder of Catherine Walker & Co., who created many made-to-measure gowns for Diana, is among those to appear. Joanna Osborne and Sally Muir, who created Diana's famous sheet jumper, also offer their thoughts on her life in fashion. The film also features Jack Azagari, whose dressmaking relationship with Diana began in 1987, as the pair were introduced by British Vogue editor Anna Harvey. One of the two designers behind Diana's wedding dress, Elizabeth Emanuel, also gives her opinions. Joining them are drag artist Bimini, hairstylist Sam McKnight and makeup artist Mary Greenwell. Diana's global stardom and the role of her fashion choices were detailed in another Channel 4 documentary in 2011. After Princess Diana's death, how she shaped William and Harry, examined her life, the events leading up to her death, and how her sons, Princes William and Harry were affected. Richard Kay, a royal correspondent for the Daily Mail, told the documentary that Diana was a big story. He said, she sold photographs around the world in huge, colossal numbers. She was an industry, a one-woman industry if you like, and there were a lot of photographers who got rich, just photographing Princess Diana. Arthur Edwards, the Sun newspaper's former royal photographer was also interviewed for the film. Speaking about Diana, he said, it was like a drug to get more and more pictures of this woman. She looked a million dollars, and you just couldn't stop yourself. Diana and Charles tied the knot at St. Paul's Cathedral in 1981 in a ceremony watched by hundreds of millions of people. The Princess of Wales walked down the aisle in a silk dress, which incorporated some, oh 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 mother of pearl sequins. At 25 feet long the gown's train was the longest in royal history, while her skirts concealed a gold horseshoe for good luck. Despite Charles and Diana's fairy tale nuptials, their marriage was on the rocks by the mid 80s. A huge public rift opened between the couple, before they eventually separated in 1992, and the divorce was finalized in 1996. The journalist Robert Jobson, who co authored the book, Diana Closely Guarded Secret, also spoke for the 2011 Channel 4 documentary. Discussing Diana's lasting appeal, he said, even after the divorce, she was like a magnet to the media. She would always go with a press pack of at least 30 people. Diana, Queen of Style, is on Channel 4 from PM 11.05 PM tonight.